Okay, guys, number one. Yeah. Number two. Line. Number three. Subscribe. Number four. Comment. And number five. Assalamu alaikum. And on this wonderful day of Eve, you can see a large part of Bradford, and there's hundreds of people, and the cars are parked outside their homes. In the name of Allah, the most merciful and kind, wherever you are in the world today, whether you're in the Western world, whether you're in the Eastern world, Southern world or Northern world, and you are celebrating Eid, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all the deeds of your blessed month, your salah, your charity, your giving, your positive thoughts. All the deeds that you have done, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept, accept them. Because once they are accepted, then they are stamped and sealed. If you're celebrating Eid today, well, firstly, a massive Eid Mubarak to you. And if you are not familiar with this month, let me just tell you a few things. Today is a celebration of Eid al-Fitr. Ramadan lasted a whole 30 days for Muslims around the world. Sometimes Ramadan is called the feast of the breaking fast. And today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have rewarded all those Muslims, forgiven all of their sins as if they were born today. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds but before i go into the rest of the video let me just give you a few facts related to eid eid starts with the crescent of the moon is that how you say it with the crescent of the moon <laughs> when the moon appears it always takes place during the ninth month of the islamic calendar muslims fast for 29 days or 30 days depending upon the lunar calendar and all those committees that sit out there as well number three Eid al-Fitr is a massive celebration Muslims will celebrate I can't speak today I think it must be fasting right the end of Ramadan is marked with a celebration called Eid al-Fitr the celebration usually lasts about three days where Muslims will come together with members of their family they will offer um, Eid prayers in the morning and then they will give a charity, a small charity known as Eid al-Fitrana. Is that what you say? Eid al-Fitrana. Making these words as I uh, come along as well. <laughs> or speak along as well. Fitrana is uh, distributed uh, to the poor. It's a means of uh, appreciation and helping those around the world that are perhaps not uh, as fortunate as others as well. It's sometimes referred to as a sugar feast. I didn't know that before. It's referred to as a sugar feast. Different countries around the world have different favourites. For example, Muslims in Turkey often eat baklava and Turkish delight, while those in Iraq and Saudi Arabia uh, favour snacks Okay, b before the pre-dawn meal, while Muslims in, in Yemen um, will often eat something uh, a Yemeni sweet, sorry, uh, topped with something called, is it nigella or nigella seeds as well. Ramadan is also a time for growth and reflection as well. In the holy month, we have time to think better, to feel better, to uh, increase um, our, our, our thoughts, our giving, and our, our spiritual health, as well as our physical health as well. And by the way, here, here we go. The, during the month of uh, Ramadan, okay, shaitan is locked up and he's chained so all those good habits that we have inculcated they need to carry on during the next 11 months as well so we need to carry on looking after our health in every single way looking after our ibadah after our prayers continuing to read the quran continuing to read uh, salah as well because look one of the purposes of or many of the purposes of, of ramadan is to reflect spend time uh, with loved ones as well and generally slow down lots of people will take time off uh, work, as, work as well so look if you're celebrating once again today a massive 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 Eid Mubarak to you as well now as we go forward into the, the, the following months I spent a little bit of time about seven minutes on quite a number of videos sharing okay a few um, experiences my experiences are not wrong and my experiences are not right they're just experiences 
So look, our thoughts lead to our feelings, our feelings lead to our actions, and our actions lead to our results. The thoughts that we have that, okay, travel into our neurology co come in, they go through various filters, okay, they are filtered through, and that ultimately affects our state. So when we think better, we feel better, we read better, we hang around pious people, we hang around with good people, we inculcate good habits into ourselves, then the likelihood is that results will follow. But look, that's enough of me. I'm going to take you outside now on a journey as well so we can see the packed streets, we can see some Muslims uh, celebrating around the streets of the United Kingdom as well. So let's go now. So we've just wandered outside and like usual on a lovely day like this, Many people will often go to see other members of the family, reminisce, celebrate and feast on lots of food. However, feasting should always be done with control as well. So currently we are in West Yorkshire and let's have a look out. So it is a, a rainy day, Baran de Liglig, or Tola Rusty, I don't know I don't just realised I've switched languages without even thinking. Or Konur Manichi, I don't know how Zor Lister Mill. 1940s, 50s, they not. They milk is among the Mashorano, they know. Hi, hi, some of the Kurbaniani or Kuridi, eh? The Raja, the Palaja, the Trishiri, the Milunuki, the Maluk, Jorola, the Bara. Like in today, it is now rented accommodation, and this is the very famous Lilycroft Road stroke Oak Lane. Or Mubarak Razda, or Mubarak Chedano. Parking idi, double parking idi. Mung na here shoe si. Che gaade sanga udro li che bol chala taklif na milavi ki. Tara wo muzunu kim che deno. Flanke flanke che deno. Registration number C sixty two three seven. Agay de mervaniyo ki akbal gaade de. Liri kiza ka umatla che deno taklif the. Aar sanga udra de cycle che deno. England ke ro ro takka 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 de de. Pasi baravaniyo. Che de hum hifazat ki bi which is a good thing so remember people celebrating is great but responsibility is bigger as well they say that every behavior has a positive intention every behavior has a positive intention which can sometimes be controversial so the behavior of the person parking on the double yellow lines on the corner is that so he can walk to his cousins however it's not good behavior because it usually gives trouble to lots of the local people and god forbid if there is a emergency situation or somebody needs to leave for work or if it's a doctor who lives on on the house on the corner house where you've parked your car and he's about to leave in an emergency because he needs to get to the hospital then that's not good so please do not risk your life or anybody else's life by parking like that especially on a wonderful day like today so let's go and have a look outside so it's uh, uh, a busy day as we enter local area lalaru uh, sorry ralu uh, as you can see there's lots of cars that are parked there's lots of people at, at home and because of the rainy weather oh as we have a flock of birds that have all just gone pigeons just flying about have you noticed that how pigeons fly around but unlike people driving their cars they never bump into each other have you ever thought of that because they're always looking well ahead and planning so very bread forward kitchen and more some that's it eh? now for our next mission is to park our car somewhere safe and Josefa is the pilot so we are all looking for a safe place to park our car so it's very busy. So three black and no And we're looking for a safe, legal, and convenient place to park the car. So as you can see, it's extremely busy. So we're just going to walk down the hill. So look, if you're watching this video, remember to please subscribe, like, and share it as well on this. Street two, mashallah, another one <laughs> to my brother's house, and it's busy on the street as Josefa starts to reverse out. So after Razda, mashallah, lili rat lili, and as you can see, all the main roads are busy as well. So in Lane Kitchen, then Oguri, mashallah, busy residi, and this is Manningham Lane in Bradford. 
Away the 30 mile an hour speed limit. And welcome back on to Manningham Lane. So in the month of Ramadan, I was talking about look, having those strengths or those things that we have inculcated um, in our daily practices of, of reading Salah, of thinking better, of getting closer to our creator. As somebody starts to nearly jump on the car, subhanAllah. Getting closer to our creator and the ulama will tell you about creating taqwa which has uh, various interpretations as well but generally getting closer to the hukum of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as, as Hassan has just turned in front of us oh look and there's Hafiz Hassan somebody who I've seen grown up or grow in front of my eyes over the years as well wonderful young Young man family relates to Sirka, associates with Sirka in uh, Pakistan as well. And uh, they're about to turn left towards the family home. Ah, they have some laro. Almost there, we're coming towards the city centre of uh, Bradford. So, go zoom city centre through, or we, eventually we will reach Manchester Road. And let's see what's happening on that side, inshallah. As we hit Westgate, our international food is available. So unfortunately, this has become a little bit of an infamous spot. A young lady just lost a life the other day with a barbarous, with a barbaric act. As Josefa takes us through the streets, through the local streets of Bradford, as we are on the way to see our elderly uncle and auntie. I look some beautiful old buildings on the corner of uh, Fountain Road and at the traffic lights we will turn our right. Probably built in the 1850s, sort of Victorian time, with the beautiful Yorkshire stone. So that's the Bradfordian Zara Ilakada. Old buildings, old factories. Our Samra, um, the left hand side, the Chidana Bradford University, there. And a uh, lovely old derelict building where the windows have disappeared and a few stones appear to have kissed some of the windows. And what we do, it's a famous little spot for Bradford and local engineering. Drive to the edge and just walk up to Nafisa and I'll turn around from there. Tick there, okay. And now we are in the area known as Bradford 7 and a famous little spot here on the corner. So it was a pub and then it's been now renovated into a place called My Peshawar, the taste of Khaybar Pukhtunkhwa. And there it is. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him lots of barakah. And that's then Bradford case, the famous Canterbury Avenue. A right hand side one is then cricket ground there, Bradford Park Avenue or Yorkshire Chidano Delta. Cricket case here, colour colour local Isab Sara tournament chidano ki Dewal Nahu de So Karina or also after the corner one banner me okay to the local election votunu time with the Mashallah Zephyr's look driving uh, defensively. If you want to know what defensive driving is about then just comment below and I'll tell you all about it inshallah where you have full awareness of what is going on on the road you're always looking well ahead okay you're moving your eyes to spot the hazards and spot the issues and you're able to keep space from them and use your mirror signal maneuver routine MSM you see now we're talking uh, driving which I won't get into uh, professionally <laughs> At this stage, although I could get into it professionally as well, because I created something called hypno driving in the UK many, many years ago. As I just noticed, I've just stroked my hair. I don't know why I just stroked my hair, but I just did. So, look, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're enjoying the little journey with us today. This vlog is not meant to go on uh, too long, but here's a question for you What would happen because of Ramadan if you became unstoppable? What would happen if your behavior is more positive? what would happen what changes would that make would it make a difference 
to your home, to your relationships, to your speaking, to your seeing, to your feeling, to your hearing and generally, okay, being unstoppable wherever you're watching in the world. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. So it's still raining, Peter Potter. Little bits of drizzle in uh, Bradford as we continue on the journey. I'm going to see Uncle Saeed Akbar, who's from Tudera in Pakistan. Um, and my father and quite a few others as well so they've been friends ever since then and we've become part of the family not blood blood so to speak but closer than blood okay mashallah over all of the years he's been a massive uh, influence upon me and the family as well and his wisdom and words of wisdom have influenced us positively for decades. And this is again a triple laned dual carriageway. The speed limit is 40 miles an hour. So the Budrazda or Kafiji Dano Masurfiatte Road Nubadi. Or Gadi Manli Kulli Luya Razda Mamafka MAF. Ocean City Resort ke azda de vaisaki. But the dog shot an arsa kari. Our England can nari nari. Hoopsurat kuruna ugari. Oi, caution ne with narrow lanes. Comment below. How do you say caution in Pushto? And remember to subscribe, like, and share the channel with all your friends and family. A massive thank you for doing that. And here is Volkswagen. Or as we say in Pushto, or Pushto, Volkswagen. And this is where Whitehead Mill used to be many years ago. Okay, so we have a lot of history of And this is Bradford 3. Ford is in West Yorkshire, which is in the northern parts of England, and this is a highly congested area. With highly populated area, so we're about to say, I was jumping out of the car. So, with lovely little houses as well, and we're off to see Sedak Barkakaji. reminisce for a little while look at this in the late 1970s not sure what it says on there actually Mary Henry something or other this is the Raglan store Sahillala Ali Goharlala Janis Khanlala Parviz Lala Khudai Diwakhi Sabir Lala the famous Raglan store okay it's been here for so many years I'm not sure who runs it uh, right now but this is where we used to hang about for a little while when I was a child. And talking about the great man, we're off to see Ali Goharlala as we head through the forest to Ali Goharlala's house and the good old passages. And Ali Goharlala, if you're watching, it looks like you are not at home. And that was Kershaw Street. So, Biyama Gardi Ketra Pakra. Head off towards Leeds Road. So we're going to head off towards uh, Leeds Road, which is a very colourful area, a business hub, a eating hub. It's full of uh, vibrance and energy, and definitely millions of colourful characters. One of them's parked in the middle of the road there. So Leeds Road here. As you can see, look, there's lots of restaurants, lots of dessert bars as well. There's the famous King of Curry. Charsi Garai, that's closed actually. Lots and lots of different places. So here you are able to buy food, you can buy clothes, you can buy five star clothes as well as we follow the bus. And the little dicky bird tells me that Akbar's 
is being avoided because apparently they have licensed their place in Blackburn and they're selling alcohol and not good. I stone desserts. There's Moody's. Oh, fish and chips at Mother Hubbard's. As we roll through the traffic lights. Isn't that lovely? Nature. And when the engine of your stomach is not working, you can always go to Champion Motor Spares. Oh, more eating places, clothes places, and Urkali. And there's it. the Bradford Mall. Have I seen? There's Ahmad Roti House. Oh, undisputed, mashallah. Zafran, if you're watching, guys, come and get your pizzas and your grills from here. Undisputed champion on Leeds Road. Look at this, and a Shimla's too. Leeds Road Fisheries. So they then okay, they see Pinzersh Pagbaji. They will be opening. And Istanbul is not in Istanbul. Istanbul is in Bradford. And here are the vanilla rooms that don't look particularly vanilla today. It looks like the place is closed. And there's a place of worship. What a beautiful building. So for those of you that, that did not know, Bradford is capital. Curry Capital UK, multi award winning. Our industry in the city, particularly for food, goes into the millions. And when you have eaten, you could always have some carpet on your floor. And because of current timing, it appears that the place is fairly quiet. I would imagine that energy will definitely raise a little bit later. And how about that as an old building? somebody asking for a pound or two as well so these things sometimes happen where people are sometimes destitute for one reason or another and sometimes they are addicted to those things that are not very nice may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all and this part of the city is known as little Germany okay, which has a German influence upon this city as a g-wagon goes past us uh, not quite 23 miles an hour, feels like 70 on a 40 road. So a lovely bit of the city. Lots of greenery on just the other side of Wapping Road. And this is next. Yes, that's next. And that was next. And there's Valley Parade. The home to a Bradford city in the distance. There it is, just hiding on the other side of the railway line. Here we have a, a bicycle lane, which you can see is full of cyclists at the moment. And it's always full of cyclists. And we had millions of pounds invested so all these cyclists could use the cyclist lane. So is it my eyes or is there some cyclists in there? Let's have a look again. Yes, it's full of cyclists. Actually, it's full of a single pedestrian. So look, hope you've enjoyed the little journey with us. Wherever you're watching, please remember to subscribe, like and share. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of the fun. Wherever you are in the world, from me to you, Assalamu Alaikum.